Hello everybody, hello everybody, how's everybody doing? I haven't made a beginner's guide on Blade Ball, so I'm actually literally going to try uh, to show you how everything works, but in the meantime, I do have to uh, re-log until I find a game uh, where my ping is not terrible, and you can easily find that out by checking out the info tab right over here. So Texas is in America, and America is way too far away from me because I'm in Europe, I'm in Germany, so... I should try some other uh, things. So that's the first thing that you should uh, be checking out in this game. And it's, sometimes it's actually so annoying because you can see it takes a long time until I actually find a good server that is uh, hosted in Germany. Otherwise, the ping is too big and you're going to lose a lot. And we just want to try to avoid that. This is why I'm just doing... I have to go through this every single day. Yes, everybody. Every single day I have to do what I'm doing right now to find a good server. So if I'm not going to find one now, I will probably restart the video. Oh, no. I actually found it. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have taken way too long. So welcome back uh, or welcome as a first new joiner to the channel. Today, I will be showing you uh, how Blade Ball works, how the UI works, what the uh, mission is here, how to hit the ball, how to get into the group rewards, how to roll and the crates and everything. We're just basically, this is going to be the ultimate guide for beginners in Blade Ball on Roblox. So let me actually sit up here properly. Now, this might be a little bit of a longer video or not. We will see uh, the future shall say. Now... Ping is something that is going to be very uh, important here because, I mean, yeah, a good ping is going to have more wins. Uh, that is absolutely true. So if you have a bad internet connection or bad hardware, which means uh, you're on a poor, uh, poorly optimized phone or a, a computer with really bad graphics uh, card, like something old, and you're not uh, going to play this game fluently, you will have uh, serious issues and... Uh, it's going to be very difficult for you to, um, you know, maintain your gold, especially when you're going to go into the higher realms of wins. Now, um, we're going to first talk about the UI, uh, everything you need to know to get started in Blade Ball. On the right side, you guys know this already from Roblox. This is your leaderboard. It basically tells you who's uh, the best on the server currently. It shows you how many wins they have, how many kills they got, um, you know. Sadly, this game uh, does kind of have a way of splitting really good pros. Well, I'm not counting myself as a really good pro, but, um, you know, splitting them with uh, pro service. So if you have 50 wins plus, like I do, I could potentially go into pro service. You actually gain more gold, but it's harder for you to get kills and wins. So you have to see for yourself if that is something in the future for you now. Um, these Cyber Scythe, uh, the, the limited items that you have, I actually have a limited as well, and I'm probably going to get the Scythe as well. They don't give you any strength in this game. This is just uh, a, as you can see, you can equip these. Uh, they're just skins, basically. So I have uh, the Oni Claws, as you can see here. They look really cool. They have a nice, shiny effect. But other than that, it's not going to... Uh, give you anything else in this game. So, uh, yeah, I'm being thrown here into a game right now. Uh, I, I, well, I didn't really want to get into a game, but we can just kind of start having uh, a little bit of a guide going on here. So I'm just going to use no abilities whatsoever. So I'm just going to give myself the dash because every beginner will have the dash. And we're going to talk about these abilities in just a second. I'm just going to quickly show you uh, on how I... Uh, you know, play the game. So first of all, the field of view is actually quite important. Um, I'm going to talk to you about how to hit the ball and everything else in just a second. But the field of view here is kind of uh, important to see if somebody is behind you, because if somebody actually is behind you, uh, they can easily snipe you. So we have to be really careful uh, of that. Now, don't make sure, uh, don't be panicked uh, when the ball is actually coming to you. There's a certain area where you can use your left click or your tap on the phone to actually hit the ball. It doesn't have to be right in front of your face. It could be just uh, at least, I would say, in Roblox meters, one or two meters away, which would be, I mean, you can see where this starts here, right? You can see this starting here. You can already hit the ball at that time. Like, let's let's use this as the ball here, as you can see. And already at this distance, you can already start hitting the ball. So pre-clicking, look at this. Pre-clicking uh, is actually a thing in this game. And you can actually also control the ball from left to right. As you can see, as I am doing right now, I'm kind of like um, getting the ball away from me and also from the 
from the uh, one one v one that somebody's trying to you know uh, you know get into here with me. So I'm just gonna try to get the ball away, and uh, you can see that um, it kind of worked. Uh, I do have a tutorial on it. It's called uh, Curved Shots, and uh, yeah, you can check it out. I it, it's just gonna be too much. Uh, stuff in this uh, video here, so I can't necessarily uh, focus on that right now. So we will, we'll, we'll make a video maybe if you guys want more beginner stuff like this. So I'm just gonna go into the one v one here. You can see I can actually already pre-click. I'm gonna click now, and it actually still hits now. And then we're just gonna turn around and take somebody else out. Um, this is kind of getting a little bit more difficult now. I don't think if you're an absolute beginner, I don't think you're gonna get to this stage where you're gonna get into the standoff. You might get there by um, you know, just by, by be leap, just being lucky, I would say, you know, but on the other hand, um, yeah, it's not easy to get into standoff if you have a lobby with uh, pretty good players. You can see they're like uh, people with 89 kills and stuff. So I'm just going to try to focus on just playing the game normally. I'm not trying to use too many abilities, as you can see. And uh, yeah, there we go. Um, we're in this standoff right now. I use the dash ability. Uh, you can use that as well. I sometimes use it to move around, as you can see here, and sometimes I move it. Uh, I use it to dash and to uh, get into some uh, interesting, you know, kills like that. <laughs> Anyways, but this is a little bit more advanced. The only thing that you should really think about is, um, you know, how to hit the ball and whatnot. Now there are two ways of doing this. Uh, one of them is using shift lock, which I always prefer. I'm a shift lock player. Uh, some people use the actual F button, which I don't because I think it's F in bad. Uh, I'm using left click. Uh, I think that is much better using left click and right click as your uh, ability. So uh, for now, just try to use dash as a get around uh, the map ability or not use it uh, getting like into full PVP full on face first <laughs> situation. Try to use it to stay on the outsides and not knock yourself out like me jumping against the wall here, against an invisible wall. Try to be on the outside and if some two if two people are battling it out, uh, as you can not see right now. Okay, so it's I guess it's my shot now. So I'm just gonna try to put the ball into the outside so we have some more uh, you know space so try to stay more on the outside try to stay a little bit further from the ball away the further you are away from the ball the better in the beginning because um, it will teach you when to hit the ball because you will have enough time for reaction uh, speed you know so right now you know you can see I'm just gonna try to uh, put this ball away from someone I know that people are trying to battle me this guy really wants to play aggro but I'm just gonna not uh, engage with that uh, just get rid of the ball like if you're not able to, okay that's fine um, if you're not able to do these curved shots, like I said, there's a tutorial on YouTube on it. So just try to be on the outsides, let them battle it out, and try to get as far as possible. And um, if you if you get killed, just don't get discouraged. I've got gotten killed so many times, and you know, I mean, it says that I have the. I mean, it just says that it says the positives, but you know, I have so many more deaths on my account. So if that would actually be shown. I would probably faint. So don't worry about it. Like I've had so many deaths in the game. Um, and this is another tip for you, you know, just controlling the emotions because you can get angry with these highly competitive games because I get angry with these highly competitive games. But you're supposed to, you know, before you go hardcore mode, hardcore PvP destruction mode, you should really learn the game, know how it's done. It's not just reaction time clicking. It's actually also controlling the ball, where to go, um, seeing what kind of ability uh, the people around you have so you know that when you're in a standoff if I would be this guy right over here I would know that this guy has shadow step and he's not scared to use it so he's gonna probably build some distance and then use shadow step to actually dash in it depends on shadow step um, you know uh, how far it's maxed out uh, but yeah Sometimes it actually refreshes really fast, sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to talk about uh, some skills here in a second. Some of my favorite skills that I think are perfect for beginners and something, maybe some skills that you should avoid. So I'm just going to try to really uh, die pretty fast now because I would like to show you these abilities. So I'm just going to try to pick a fight here. Okay, that didn't work. Right, let's hope that this works. Yeah, okay, so I can just wreck myself. There you go. <laughs> And we're going to talk about the skills now. So dash is obviously a good skill. You can actually uh, max that out. It's not too expensive. 
Um, super dump, uh, super dump, <laughs> super jump is a skill that you don't necessarily need. It, it's good for style points and you can make some kills with it. But if you're really absolute beginner, I think dash and invisibility are probably the ones you're going to make the most kills with. Uh, and also even potentially wins. Just note that invisibility is disabled during standoff. That means you cannot use it in a 1v1 in a standoff. Now another ability that you can think about in the future is force field. Um, if the ball is going to become too fast and you're scared of getting hit or if you are in a 1v1, you can use the force field uh, to activate and just run closer to people and they will eventually not be able to actually you know, defend it and die. Now we have a few other things. If you want to become a little bit more professional at the game, if you really want to take this a little bit more on a serious note, I highly suggest Shadow Step. Uh, phase Bypass, as far as I believe, is not really able to, you know, you can't really buy it currently because it's... Uh, yeah, it's just not there currently. Um, Shadow Step is the same, kind of. Uh, you know, if you max it out, Shadow Step is super strong. Um, Wind Cloak is supposed to be fun as well. Um, and there are these uh, manip manipulative uh, abilities that are very foreseeable, like Telekinesis. This one's a just an annoying one. That's why I maxed it out first. And then we have Pull, which is maybe one of the best uh, abilities in the game if you know how to play it. Uh, using Pull uh, is, oh my god, it's so annoying. Yeah, I mean, you can force the ball uh, actually to target you. And you, when you're in a 1v1, you can literally like let it go close to your enemy and then he's going to click, but you're going to pull it back to you and then you're going to hit it and then he's on cooldown and he will die. So the cooldown is something that you also need to deeply uh, take care of and keep in your mind. Now, my favorite one that I use currently is Pull and Bypass. These are the new uh, abilities that are set in the game. Let's talk uh, a little bit more about the stuff that you can do here. So um, you do have an extra. If you go on the top left, if you go into the playtime rewards, you can see that you can actually get 60, 60, 90 and one free spin. Now, let me tell you one thing. Uh, do not use your uh, coins because I've done this. Do not spend them on sword skins or explosion crates because they're just skins. They don't make you better in the game. Now, another thing that does make you better uh, is... Um, is skins, uh, not skins, it's abilities, sorry. Abilities, they do make you better. So make sure to uh, spend your money and your coins on that and max them out before you're spending it on crates. I actually spend, in the beginning of the game, I actually spend 2,000 uh, or, or so, 2,000 credits uh, on drawing these skins and I was absolutely furious when I found out that you actually had to pay for the abilities that are about to come out, you know, so... Yeah, this is something you need to definitely keep in mind. Uh, but yeah, just just don't waste it on these opening crates. I mean, I guess it's cool to have a skin, but what is the skin going to do you if you're just not good at the game? <laughs> you're just not going to have enough time playing it. So um, yeah, that is basically all I have uh, in the beginning right now. Uh, there's a few more. I have so many. I have tons of tutorials uh, on this channel, so you will probably not run out of content any soon because I I love this game and I play this game a lot, and it's just something that, you know, something I like to do. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and you know just enjoy the rest of the game. I'm just gonna try to, you know, do do a little funky stuff. See what? Oh yeah, <clears throat> I'm gonna actually run. Oh, there we go. So it's uh, just us two. Well, us three, basically. Let's do 180, although it doesn't really help. So I'm going to try to bring it to this guy. I want these guys to battle it out. This is my usual uh, tactic of, uh, you know, play style. I like um, battling it out, but I guess I'm the pig in the middle. But I'm fine with that. Let's see. Oh, we're in the standoff. There we go. So we got into the standoff. I think this guy's pretty good. Uh, I gotta be really careful here because he's like, I think he has 100 um, kills above me. So I have to be really uh, careful here. Let's see. There we go. And we won. Anyways, this is it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Uh, yeah. Blessings to everybody, I guess. <laughs> Goodbye.